normally I do this after the school segment, but I watched this on like Monday or Tuesday and I just kept forgetting to review it, so <clears throat> Inside Lob, Universally Plus, the ratings Netflix Netflix original series watching on Netflix. Alex Hirsch, Lizzie Kaplan, Clark Book, Christian Slater, John DiMaggio, Bobby Lee. It's surprisingly good. This school, <clears throat> this school on Thursday, the 31st of March 2022. <clears throat> I was supposed to share this yesterday, but yesterday, or well, actually on Tuesday, student A commented on the most recent post in the Media Studies Google Classroom. Sir, are we supposed to do all the exam-style questions? Student B responds, No, student A. Don't worry about it. Kind regards, sir. Student A replies with a metal finger emoji, and the teacher replies, <clears throat> Potentially watch our usage of emo emojis. No questions are required, just the notes. See you later. Let's remove these comments. Kind regards, the real sir. Then there's also a couple of lines from <clears throat> the book I read today, Spider-Man Noir. It's good. Quite based, except for the fact that Aunt May is a communist. So Peter says to uh, his boss, not Jameson, he's, he's working for a guy that works for Jameson. You're not even shocked, Ben. Peter, I'm too tired. You can't spend your life being disgusted and outraged. You'll go crazy. That's true. And the second bit, which was literally just a page later. You've lost me. I don't see what the war. And then that's what Ben says and Peter replies. And not Uncle Ben, it's a different Ben. <clears throat> he said if those in power can't be trusted, it's the responsibility of the people to remove them. And I get that it's just like basically, you know, great power comes great responsibility somewhat. But that is true. Anyway. So, I go to form class, and not long later, someone go, someone else pops up in form class, I go, it's done, I'm pretty sure we have assembly today, oh, for God's sake, uh, and, uh, you know, I pack my things, and go to, <clears throat> oh, and I forgot to mention, last night, I found out that gorillas are going to Dublin. In August, and Force Machine is going to the same place in November. So I got pretty excited, but then I found out today that, you know, might be a hard time getting there. But, uh, you know, fingers crossed. <clears throat> so, uh, where was I? Right. So we go to go to assembly, but it's just made out that I'll see a couple of people from our and and I say to him, do we have assembly? Uh, there's chairs there, so I don't think so. And that's what I thought as well. Because usually when there's chairs there, or anything out of the ordinary, if you go anywhere near it all, it's like, hey, there's an exam on here. Even though it's, you know, form class time. Anyway. So we, we all stay in form class. Not a lot of people there. <clears throat> um, and then we go, you know, Bell goes to go to class. Instead of going to class, we'll go to the hall. It turns out there was an assembly on. I'm the first one on the answer. And I go towards the head of year. Everyone else goes towards the back of the hall. I sit on the bench. I say, Miss, where do we go? She says, go to the back. Okay. Sat down, had an assembly about uh, the exams, like the AS exams, not mocks or anything, like the real thing. <clears throat> and then we went to the class. Uh, with media, we're done with Black Panther. We're going to like share notes tomorrow because we had a homework. Um, so we know we'll have it marked and 
we'll swap ideas and all, and then that'll be us done. And we're going on something that Sirius Kill was not the Talus. Like, he, he said, you know, it, it wasn't just that he forgot the Talus and everything like that. He actually chose not the Talus. It's either going to be the second movie or the second music video. <clears throat> so it's either going to be the music video for, for Riptide by Fans Joy or uh independent movie called I Daniel Blake. Or it could be something else entirely. But I'd say it's most likely one of those two. In English, we watched uh, a performance of The Crucible. It's the same performance as we watched last time when the Veep was our English teacher for The Crucible. And it's great so far. So if we end up finishing it, then I'll be a review for it. I think that's everything. Oh, and also, uh, I borrowed a book off the head of here. I'm only about 20 or 30 pages into it out of 200, so... Uh, no review yet. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> this means as of 25 past 5. You're telling me Zoe Kravitz was trying to flirt with a 14-year-old Jaden Smith, yet tried to dismiss Will Smith on Instagram? Me, I'm trying to talk with Sweet Kravitz. I am 12. Y'all saying you're 14 to get her attention, but you forgot the most important part. Even more awesome for Zoe was spending time with the Smith clan. The cameras weren't well, When the cameras weren't rolling. There were moments that I was hanging out with Jade and I'm thinking, I can't believe 14. I have to check myself. Like, what, what I say to you? She laughs. He has so much personality and so much swag. He is so much cooler than I am, and he's so handsome. I was always like, when you're older, you know, we'll hang out. Nope, that's inappropriate. You're 14. She really, she really, I make an EDP look good. That ain't Catwoman, that's a cougar. <laughs> it's what a 14-year-old Jaden Smith looked like, so we could have some of them getting zero play. So we could have brave as hell for trying to diss the follower of the guy she was trying to prey on. On that because it's a high major Muller clip. Um, I know the people who like be like, oh, no, I, you know, high major Muller is crap, even if they haven't seen it. They want to think, oh, what the hell? Like that's you know, evidence that it's crap. The context behind that scene is that the the guy that was on stage, yeah, uh, Barney Neil Patrick Harris's character, was he had a bet with another character. And I don't remember what the bet was because I, I finished it like three years ago, three and a half years ago or something. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, the bet was something like uh, if she can watch him do all that for an extreme amount of time without giving up or anything like that, then she wins. There's something else I've been meaning to share for a while, but I just, you know, I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but when I was watching Euphoria, I got an ad for, like, domestic abuse and all, or just bloodless abuse in general, and I accidentally clicked on the link because I was watching it on my tablet, um, 
and you know, brought up the site, and it says, uh, coercive controlling behavior is still abuse and it's a crime. That means that the male head of ear has committed a crime because he coerced me into telling him everything. But anyway, this is Twitter as of 28 to 6 p.m. Pride flag. Who is it? Americans. Okay, so here's a tweet that this person put out on 7th of March 2022 at 10.18 a.m. I was 16 when I came out as trans. I am turning 28 this month. So, you came out in 2010. Okay. That's not relevant. I just want to point out that it was 2010 that this person decided, well, not decided, but, you know, actually became. So I thought someone shit on me. Became trans. I was not groomed. I was not abused. I love my life. To all the young trans people out there, there is nothing wrong with you. The only people who are wrong are politicians who want to punish you for being yourself. For Christ's sake, man. I didn't mean... No, no pun intended there, but... Just stop trying to act... Okay, this is my brother being a dick. Stop trying to act like trans people are being oppressed by politicians. Right? As if it's a crime to be trans. It's not. Right? Even before Bruce Jenner, trans people were accepted. Right? And the acceptance is still getting higher and higher. Do not try and act like you are an oppressed minority. Okay? You are a minority, but you're not oppressed. But anyway. Keep, keep track of the date that tweet came out. Here's another tweet from the same person. 10.44 a.m. <clears throat> 5th of September 2021. No, I'm just sick of you constantly bitching about trans people or trans terminology. I get it. You had a bad experience with a trans person. I was actually groomed by a gay man. I do not spend my time attacking gay men or gay culture as a result. Which one is it? You can't just like, you know, you're making up stuff. Either you were groomed and you're lying about not being groomed in order to, you know, get more trans people to become, or more people who want to be trans be trans. You know, try and destroy the stigma or not stereotype of trans people. Haven't been groomed. Or. You weren't groomed. But you said that you were. In order to. Uh, try and make a point. Now. Most other people would have said. That you were allowed by being groomed. To get attention. I don't think so. Do you guys consider 23 minutes to be a walking distance? 23 minutes is a hike. Bring a water bottle and wear good walking shoes. 15 minutes is the furthest I'd be able to walk in professional shoes before getting a blister. If not the 30 minutes is walking distance, I personally think. 30? Jesus is Lord. If not over 10 minutes is pushing it, that's a frightening thing to say. Well, I'll set it. Bring a water bottle. Americans think nothing of driving eight hours to see a band play. <laughs> um, whoops. I mean, I know that the distance from here to Dublin is like three hours instead of eight, but you know, to see a band play, but that's the fifteen minutes, and they will ask Gan if Gandalf's coming with him. And you can shut up about the Denny's incident. I don't know what the Denny's incident is. Just watch. MFKZ. Never heard of it. Weird movie. I wish it was as interesting as the art style. That's what I thought. Art style, animation, visuals were top tiers. Story was very meh. Crypto has been having a mental few days. These replies were cracking up so many. 
<clears throat> Somebody making life changing money tarts called a scam about 30 trillion screw boy coin that was made by an anonymous team from the Philippines didn't have enough for a live one. Five minutes crypto was clearly a scam. <laughs> Are people ready to see their lives going to waste because of the scam? Tell me you don't understand crypto, etc. Enough to see how many coins are just rigged and etc. Here's the app. Don't buy those ones. Mom of four, he's been paying up the £50 a day for electricity. It's running tomorrow's energy price. Cap rise. Anyone got a number? I'm choking. <laughs> That works out at 1500 a month or 18000 a year on electricity. There are two explanations. Either she needs to have a word for her neighbours or did she get really nervous when you went near her attic? <laughs> Trans rights or human rights? Well, now that I get the date wrong, I have no idea. I don't keep up with holidays. Got posts for them all, don't worry. Even on even National Sandwich Day. Yeah, I don't understand why they have uh, so many. Rewatching Utopia, I forgot about the scene. Pretty eerie and relevant. Hmm. I thought Utopia was in like a twenty fourteen thing. Maybe it's a reboot of whatever. Jesus, I got multiple scoliosis, which makes a 15 minute walk feel like a marathon. The only thing I miss most from before my diagnosis is being able to take our long walks very far since the MS, very different from being lazy all now. <laughs> Imagine making a great series that ends on a cliffhanger. Because the series Dream Massive that glass right brutal was especially the school shooting episode. Producers pulled the plug because of the negative attention. So uh more of the society and people are going, I'm so excited. But I think it might be bad. Yeah. Logo ratings is bad. It's not when people act like it's an MCU, maybe when it's not, it's a spin-off of Venom. Like, we're having a Venom verse now, sort of, and I know that Venom did cross over into the MCU because of the post credits of No Way Home, but still. So you have Venom, Venom 2, Morbius, then there's also going to be a Madam Web movie, and possibly a Silk movie as well. 